two, three, and action. All right. Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome to the Arts and Raps interview segment number one. Today we have the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, Good Job Dom, a.k.a. the violent dude. Yeah. Everybody give him a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> How you feeling today, homie? I'm feeling good, feeling good, feeling good, man. How about I know yourself? You, man, I'm all right. I went out skating like not too long ago before like we got back home to do this. Okay. Yeah, I fucked up my toe, bro. I, Damn. <laughs> I, I like I skate at Capital University all the time, and I like push. I got this. Uh, I have these two picnic tables, and they're all mine. I never see anybody else setting on them or using them. So I like mm -hmm. push them out into the middle of the parking lot and shit. And I've been like working on like my grinds and shit like that. Right, and, right. Bro, I like went to 50-50 it and I mm. my trucks weren't locked on uh -huh. and my back truck slid off and I fell off the picnic table like backwards, Ooh, bro. That man. shit, yeah, that Ooh. shit hurt. And then and then I'm not gonna lie, every time I approached it like after that, I was a little bit scared. <laughs> oh yes, sir, bro. That shock ain't nothing to play with, bro. For sure. Bro, I swear to God, like, listen, if you can, if you can conquer that fear, bro, there ain't nothing you can't do, I swear to God. Yeah, seriously, no, for real. <laughs> All right, so, um, let's just get right into it. Uh, can you tell the people a little bit about yourself, what city you're from, how old you are, uh, what you've been into? Shit, man, I'm from, originally from Point Pleasant, West Virginia, where the Mothman's at, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, moved up to Cincinnati a couple years back. Just to get out of my hometown, you know, the hometown mindset went, uh, wasn't there for me for the rap stuff. But Heard you know, that. Heard so that. I had to had to change locations real quick for sure. But uh, yeah, uh, skateboard. I make a little little bit of music every now and then, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, man, just I just be chilling for real. Work at FedEx, you know. If you ever need some mail, I'll let your boy. I don't bro, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have you deliver. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's sick. I I actually uh, had a very similar experience with like uh, moving out the hometown as of very recently too. I just moved up to Columbus like shit maybe eight nine months ago when I got my okay. apartment. Mm -hmm. And bro, coming from like a really small town, cause I a lot of people don't know this about me, but I grew up on like a farm. I'm talking goats, chickens. Cows, okay. sheep, the whole nine, right? Hell yeah, and, that's dope. Yeah, like growing crops in the fucking field, like everything, right? And so yeah. when I moved up to the city, um, cause like it was, I lived like in a small town, like real close to Athens. So Athens was where like I had to do all my networking, like if I ever mm -hmm. wanted to meet up with any other artists. So when I finally moved up to the city in, here in Columbus, like, and there was just like, a bountiful like circle of other creatives that are doing the same exact thing as me bro it just helped me flourish so much so like talking about that hometown mindset and like just getting the fuck out bro i totally relate mm -hmm. with you on that for real for real yeah yeah for sure shout out tato tato too as well because like he, oh bro tato 740 that's the yeah, boy bro. he, he kind of gave me the boost for real because i was like i've been making music for a grip just like you know trying to get over that that like insecurity of just dropping it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We then was talking, he's like, bro, just stop being a punk. Stop being a bitch. <laughs> yeah. just, just drop some. Don't like, right, get that cool. shit, bro. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Shout out to him, bro, for real. Give That's that. cool. Uh, so, with that being said, like, how long you been rapping, man? What what got you started into it? What really got, like, your love for it uh, man, going? Let's see. Uh, How long? I'd say about five, maybe five years, probably. That's what's up. But like, but like putting stuff out, probably like a couple of years. But like, cool. um, yeah, shoot, what my inspiration? Probably like when I was younger, I grew up to like a lot of Fifty Cent and all that stuff, like nice. G Unit and all that. All know, right, cool. All that classic, uh, two thousand six, like Nelly, Ti, fucking, pretty much a lot of like East Coast down South rap. And then I was like, man, let me see what it's talking about. And then, boom, <laughs> put a fire under me. And then, of course, like a little bit of like Tyler Creator and stuff, actually, a lot of him, actually. So, 
Bro, yes, with the Off yeah. Future Boys, I can totally, yeah, I can sure. totally see that as like a, a little bit of like an influence in your style, even. Yeah, like definitely. With yeah. the the way that you rap, like that's really cool. Cause straight up, I I listen to your music and I really enjoy like the way that you rap. That's why I I asked you to be a part of the show and also like. I enjoy how passionate you are about everything. Like yeah. even when I first invited you to, you know, be on the show and like come perform, you were stoked about it. But then as soon as I sent you the flyer, you were like the first one to be promoting about it. And like you, oh, yeah. you, you were all about it. Like you're, you're very, um, you're very uh, progressive in trying to, you know, make sure that you got shit rocking. So that's really cool. Me, bitch, D O M I, Neek, bitch. I smoke a spliff, escape the natty on some street shit. Yeah, sliding in that Chrysler 2 thing. Mac 11, kick it, making noise like it's Liu Kang. Okay, so, um, what got you into skating and uh, shit like that? Um, uh, let's see. Well, I was playing ball from like K to eighth grade. I was always peeping like the skateboard and shit. Cause like there was like this one dude who was like uh, pretty good. He lives like down the street. And when I just go ride my bike around my hometown and stuff, I see him skating and doing like crazy, crazy stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. So, That's you know, super a, lot of, sick. a lot of trial and error, some broken bones, a couple of bruises, <laughs> and here I am. Scraped man. up knees, bro, man. I was, I was listening to your uh, song, to your record, Violent Dude, and I, one lyric that like jumped out to me, you said, um, I smoke a spliff and skate the natty on some street shit. I'm pretty yes, sure, sir. That, I'm pretty sure that's what the line was. Um, yeah. So how has, how has being a skateboarder first affected uh, like either your style or the way that you approach uh, your artistry and rap music? Uh, it, it helps me. It helps me with metaphors, like, cause like you could like, you could say anything about skateboarding and it can like, uh, like sort of like, you're sort of hitting that like some violent shit, but it's not really violent cause you're on skateboard. You know what I'm saying? So like- Yo, actually that's a great way to think about it. That's sick. Yeah. So like, all like the metal talk, this, that, and the third, I'm just talking about trucks and shit, bro. Like, Yo, like, you know what I'm saying? You feel this me? motherfucker is cold. Okay, yeah. that's why we do these interviews because we want an inside look at what the motherfuckers are thinking about when they're making rap music. Yeah, Thank you for that piece of information. That's great. I love that. Yeah. Um, so I know that we talked about uh, you being influenced early on by like artists like Fifty Cent and the G Unit Gang. Um, uh -huh. If you could collab with one major artist today, who would it be? Oh, fuck. Ah, man. Ooh, uh, probably, oh my God, who am I listening to right now? I ain't gonna cap, bro. That, the Midwest shit right now, like the Detroit shit, that shit's fun to rap on. I ain't oh, gonna I, yeah, I agree with that. You can, you can literally say anything, and it's just like, oh, he's rapping, but like, Man, I don't know. Like, probably like like maybe like Pierre Bourne and like some like real good producer. For Yo, sure. what a solid pick. Yes, yeah. I agree. Yeah, uh, yeah, if I was, producer. me too. If I was gonna uh, have to pick to like collab with like a major artist or somebody uh -huh. like that, I would pick a producer. Yeah. Um, I don't know who I would pick right off the top of my head for real. I got another one actually. Uh, All right, hit me. Alchemist. Oh, oh yes. the boy, bro. Yes. Okay, yeah, well, it, then I are I have my pick. I think I would pick either like somebody like Madlib, or Ooh. or I would pick. Um, oh, actually, take that back. I would pick Frank Dukes. That's the okay. dude that I. Ooh. That's the dude that I've been studying recently, okay. and I feel like he would uh, work well with my sound. So that's who yeah, I would pick. Okay. Um, so I know that we talked about uh, your project, uh, Violent Dude, and you guys can go check that out on his music videos on YouTube. I will put the links everywhere. Um, you can stream it, uh, I believe, on SoundCloud. Is it out on any yeah. other streaming platforms? Uh, no, just SoundCloud right now. Um, cool. I got to re-up on my distro account. <laughs> I heard so, that, bro. Yeah. Yo, so... 
With that being said, are you working on any other upcoming projects? I know that I saw in your story that you got the mic stand in the home studio, so I'm so oh, excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm so to excited crazy. to send you beats straight the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, man, I'm um, ready. Emails but open. Are you working? Are you working on anything? Are you finishing anything up? What can we uh, expect from you? I, man, I want to... I don't know, man. I want to drop like another, maybe like another three pack or something like that. I'm working on a song right now. Um, I don't know when it's gonna drop though, because like I, this third shift is really whooping my ass right now. But, Bro, I uh, swear to God, I feel you on that. But man, if I can somehow sneak my phone in there, bro, because I'll, I'll be in there just unloading stuff, and then boom, some lyrics just pop in my head while I'm just sitting there getting busy. So like, I don't know. Probably I want to say at the end of next month. The end of next month. All right, yeah. we're holding everybody that's watching this right now. We're holding them to it. The end of next month. I'm gonna be yeah. on that. In the next month for sure. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get something working. I'm getting something working for sure. All right, cool, cool. Um, so with that being said, I know that you uh said like when we were texting that you were gonna be up in Columbus uh here mm -hmm. soon. So I'm gonna get you in my studio. We're gonna lock in. Um. Bro, thank you so much for being a part of this. I'm so glad that you are a part of the show. I'm glad that you got to come through for the interview today. And I'm just really excited about what you have coming up in the future because I really, truly believe in you as an artist. Like, I really fucking rock with you. I appreciate for real. that, man. Thank you. Not even trying to gas with you. I think that you're sick as fuck. <laughs> thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you. I, for sure. I appreciate the invite, all that shit, bro. Thank you so much. Most definitely. All right. Everybody, peace out. Thank you for tuning in to the Arts and Raps interview segment number one yeah. with Good Job Dom. Everybody, yes, deuces. Peace. Good morning, every fucking body. Well, good evening. It's about 3.30. Yeah. Yeah.